So this question is introducing you to the idea of a derivative, and I'm assuming because it's the beginning of the school year for most kids, that's exactly what your calculus teacher is doing, kind of getting you into, uh, into thinking about slopes as, as they get more and more instantaneous. So before that, we want to back up and just make sure that you understand, first off, what the term average velocity means, okay? Average velocity, I'm just going to say V bar. Bar over something means average. Average velocity is your change in position over your change in time, okay? And when I say change in X, that's sometimes given as, you know, position could be X, that could be S. In this case, it's actually going to be height, right? Because we're given the height of uh, of this, this baby alien as a function of time. So for us, that's going to be H. And what we care about in terms of the velocity is how fast is that height changing over time? So for us, that's going to be delta H over delta T. Now, another way that we can think about delta H is let's say h final minus h initial, right? What's the difference between where you ended up and where you started? And the same is true for delta t, right? What's the difference between the time where you ended and the time where you began, okay? So this is kind of the, the expression for, for velocity that we're going to be using. From the beginning to the end, what's the total distance divided by the total time? And what this question is getting at is, well, I can calculate, for example, the average change. Okay, and by the way, let's 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 figure out what change means. If I have a graph that's uh, h versus time, and this is a downward sloping or a downward facing parabola, so let's say it looks something like this: the graph of a uh, the graph of 46t minus 15 squared is not very helpful for us. So let's just kind of use this dummy parabola here. If I want to know what the average speed is, that's really the, the slope from here to here, right? The slope from here to here. Notice that the slope of that is going to be the change in H, right? The, the rise, the change in Y, over the change in T, okay? So that's my delta H and delta T. And again, my slope M is going to be change in Y over change in X. Well, that's exactly what this is, right? It's change in y, which is h, over change in x, which is t. So that's what we want. We want to know the slope between two points. And so coming back to this other graph, I can find the slope between these two points, say, okay, and that's, that's an average velocity over a given period of time. I could also find the slope between, say, these two points and these two points, right? I can let that point get closer and closer and closer. And if I let that point get so close that it's practically equal to the point that I started at, I get the rate of change at just that point, right? What's, what's the slope? What's the rate of change of this graph at just this point here? Okay, and so that's what this question is getting at. If we start at t equals 3, and I go from t equals 3 to a point that's 0 0.01 later, that's pretty close. If it's 0 0.005 later, it's even closer, and so on and so on throughout the remainder of the question. So what you want to do is simply find, hey, average velocity, that's change in height over change of t for each of those given values. So change in height, well, that's going to be, let's say, h of... If we want to do uh, 3.01, it's going to be 3.01 minus h of 3 divided by 3.01 minus 3. Now, why is that? Well, because on the graph of h versus t, if I want to know the slope, right, the rate of change from when I'm at t equals 3 to t equals 3.01, right, a period of 0.01 later, then I want to find the difference in the y values, right? Well, that's going to be h evaluated at, let's get one more little graph in here. Let's call this 3 and 3.01, obviously not to scale. What's the h here? What's the h here? And the distance between them is the difference between these two values. Again, that's t final minus t initial. Okay, so you can go ahead and, and evaluate this expression here for each of these. So you want to do from 3.01 to 3, 3.005, etc. And what you'll find is that as that value gets smaller and smaller, we get closer to 3, right? You get closer to what the instantaneous velocity is going to be at t equals 3. So just plug them in at slope. Best of luck to you.